Hello friends, this video is the first recorded weekly setup of 2024 in my A5. I'm super excited about this video because as some of you know, I am using the Rosie Weekly Hourly Inserts and I've just been looking forward to sharing this insert in detail with you all because I love it so much. I've been using this insert for about a month and a half and I've just thoroughly enjoyed it. In the meantime, I have learned several things since using this insert. One is I don't feel inclined to use as many stickers. I've already mentioned this in a previous video. Maybe it was my January end of month recap. So forgive me if you're hearing this again, but it's necessary for this video. When I would use dot stickers, or any sticker for that matter, I use them to label when I had a task to do, an event, or when I was posting on social media. So literally everything. I ran into a problem. Uh, the stickers were overlapping one another. Um, whenever I had like back-to-back -back task or things. So it just started to look really crowded. Um, I don't like it. And obviously the reason for that is because these particular stickers are from cloth and paper. Actually, most of my stickers are from cloth and paper. And understandably, these stickers are not made to fit these inserts. Even though the dot sticker looks like it fits the line perfectly, if I add another dot sticker right underneath it, they touch and yeah, I just, I just realized like I cannot use stickers the same way that I used to. So I opted for a more functional setup. Um, I'm using the stickers sparingly and with intention. Honestly, I like this better. Like I get to hoard my stickers. <laughs> and um, honestly, it's just been lovely finding beauty and how simple my spreads have been, which is just a it's a breath of fresh air, honestly. Um, and I find myself doing that in not just in my planner, but daily in everything I do. I just, I love simplicity. Um, next, let's talk about the format of this insert because that is what has me obsessed with these. I wanted these inserts mainly because of the time blocking slots. Um, there's just enough space for me to fill out my schedule for the week. I love, 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 love that Saturday and Sunday isn't time blocking. It's just a line section, enough space for a to-do list. Honestly, I like it's so cheesy, but I honestly feel like these inserts were explicitly made for me. Um, the bonus with these inserts is the bottom section. Like, I just, I never knew I needed this. Seriously, like we'll start on the left. Priorities, this priority section here, which I find so productive because it allows me to hone in on the things I need to focus on for the week. Sometimes when I have a lot going on, it's a hectic week, I feel overwhelmed and scattered brain. So this priority section is just so beneficial in mentally preparing myself for the week. The following two columns are blank and meant for a list, which is great. I almost always need a section or a sticky note in my weekly for a list. Every week, I feel like it changes. Um, most of the time, it's a grocery list. I was also using this for a running weekly to-do list. I've also used this section for listing out the YouTube videos that I wanna shoot, ideas that I come up with, um, shot list for my YouTube videos. So yeah, I, I love, love this space. Now, the trackers, like, I love this. I love this. I feel like I'm saying that about everything, but really, I love this insert. Tracking how often um, I'm reading is helping me finish the books I need to read for book club. And then on top of that, I'm reading books for fun again. 
Um, I have a goal of 30 books to share and as of right now I'm on track and that is with the help of a weekly habit tracker. Lastly, this section here, it says next week, is very similar to the priority section or at least I use them both in that way like they go hand in hand so usually midweek i think about what i'm going to focus on next week and when i come up with that i immediately write it here before i forget and if it still resonates with me i transfer it to the following week to the priority section i i can't talk about these inserts enough. Um, now that I've gone over the format, hopefully you all can see why I love this so much. All the space on the page is functional in the best way possible. So when I'm setting up my week, I first like to reference my monthly overview and pop in the plans events for that week. Alrighty, if you're new here, I'm a time blocking girly, so I like to fill in when I wake up, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Essentially, these are my time blocks. These are, there are four of them. Um, I feel like time blocking gets a bad rap because when we hear time blocking, you assume you're allocating a single task to a time slot. Like you have to be working on that thing at that exact time. Like I like time blocking. I don't like to micromanage my own schedule. And if I were to do it that way, I would fail. I'm a mom. Like I just wouldn't get anything done if I was following a strict time blocking schedule. So um, for instance, um, I like to start my Mondays like throwing in laundry into the washer and starting that. And so I'll put that in the seven o'clock slot. It doesn't mean that I have to start it at 7 a.m., but I just need to do it first thing in the morning. So between six and 9 a.m. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> so essentially these are my time blocking slots from wake up to breakfast. That's six, well, I'm usually up at five, but five to 9 a.m., 9 a.m. to 12, 12 to six, six to 
I'm usually in bed by nine, so it's six to nine. So those are my four sections. Those are the four time blocking slots. So I allocate tasks to these sections and I complete those tasks within that time frame. As I said earlier, I don't like using stickers the same way I used them before. Since I'm taking that route, I noticed when I write everything in cursive, let me show you guys. It's hard to distinguish what is what because I don't have stickers to break up the task. Um, so it looks a bit messy. So what I've been doing is writing when I wake up, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in print. So it's easier, it's easier to see what I have going on in each time block. Oh, and you know what? That's why I like referencing my monthly overview first and popping those events in because if I have plans or a doctor's appointment, that could move like when I have lunch or when I have breakfast. And so sometimes if I immediately go in and I start filling this out for the whole week, then I end up having to take out my whiteout and erase it and put in the event. Lately, I'm trying to remember and get in the habit of referencing my monthly overview first before I put in my time blocking schedule. Next, I'm gonna pop in house tasks, what and when I'm posting content, and tasks that contribute to some of the goals I've set this year. So, let's start that.
The stickers I'm using this month are the cloth and paper dot and spotlight stickers in the color linen. It's a blush pink with a bit of a purple undertone. It is more cold than warm. Um, I'm using the dot stickers to accentuate key events and the spotlight stickers for when I'm posting content. You guys, I think that's it. That's it. That is what this week's setup looks like. I, like I said, it is very, very simple. Like, I mean, let's just be reminded how my setups used to look like this. Although this is still pretty, like I still like it. I still like using the stickers this way, but there's just something magical about this. I love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love how minimal and even more functional it is now. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I love sharing how I set up my week and hopefully you all picked up some tips and setting yours up. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.